Hi, my name is Belinda and I go by name of Belinda Chosen. Welcome back to my channel, guys. Welcome back, family. If you are new here, you are welcome. Welcome back to another video, guys. So today, I um, just have a quick word and I don't have anything written down. I just have one word and I'm just going to ask the Lord to just speak through me in this moment and help me deliver the word as he has put it on my tongue and in my heart. And as you, as always, take this word to God. Please pray about it. Don't just take every prophetic word and just run with it. I need you to take it to God and ask God if this is for you. And if it's for you, just come into agreement with it. So without further ado, let's get right to this video. So today's word is you are pregnant. Um, you are pregnant. So what that simply means is that some of you, this word is not for, for everyone. Some of you are pregnant right now. And you are pregnant with purpose. You are pregnant with something that God has placed it in the inside of you. And you are about to give birth. And you haven't given birth yet, but you are going to give birth very, very, very soon. Um, there's things and places that God, there's things that God is doing in your life. There's places that God is taking you to. And I posted something on my um, YouTube the other day, I think it was yesterday, and it said where God is taking you, when the favor of God is upon you, where God is taking you, no man can stand in the way. So right now, it may not look like what you have been told by God because you are experiencing birth pains, you are experiencing um, labor pains, you are experiencing pains um, right before the birth takes place. So whatever pain you're in right now with discomfort is because you are getting ready to give birth to purpose. You're getting ready to give birth to that ministry, um, to whatever it is that God has placed in, in the inside of you. Only you would know what God has placed inside of you. And you are about to give birth. So those labor pains that you're feeling before the delivery and that discomfort is because the time is near. The time is near and you're about to go into labor. And one thing that I want us to remind, I want to remind us in this time is that while we're getting ready to give birth to whatever it is that God has put in the inside of us, we're getting ready to give, give birth to purpose. I need you to stay in the heart of worship. I need you to stay in the presence of God. I need you to keep praying and seeking God in this time so that when it's time for delivery, you do not, so that when it's time for delivery, you do not give birth to a stillborn baby. So you need to still continuously pray and cover yourself and just protect what God has put on the inside of you as you wait for your delivery. Um, I need you to put away the idols of your heart, whatever it is that you've put above God, whatever it is that you've put in replacement of God, I need you to come into repentance and go back to the heart of worship. I have to take inventory of my own life and see where I have made things an idol in my life, where I have put God in the back seat and where I have put things above God and ahead of God and I was surprised to find that, oh my gosh, I've put certain things before God, certain things that I'm doing, certain things, certain thoughts. You may look at yourself right now and be like, I don't have any idolatry. I don't have any idols. Um, I don't, there's, there's no idolatry in my life right now, but I need you to take inventory. I need you to humble yourself and take inventory of the things that you're doing. Is your work above God? Is, is your children above God? Is your spouse above God? You need to take inventory of yourself and put God first. You know, God says you shall have, um, the Bible says you shall have no other God before me. For God is God and he is God alone. And God hates idolatry. So idolatry is not just something, uh, it's not just a, a, a image that you serve. Idolatry could be just things that we put above God. So I need you to take inventory of your of your of yourself, of your life, and see what you're placing above God. And I need you to kill those idolatry and begin to put God at the at the front of your life, at the, in the driver's seat of your life, and allow God to take the wheel and lead you. But that discomfort that you're feeling right now, I want to let you know, is because you are about to give birth. So. A lot of you may not know that you're even pregnant. Have you ever heard of those stories of, um, I've been seeing some stories lately on, on social media where they have like TV shows about, um, I didn't know I was pregnant where, um, women were just giving birth, not knowing they were pregnant, but 
you there's a, a certain sometimes you don't know and then it happens because when god moves he moves with speed he moves with speed god is a god of speed when god begins to move it moves with speed and you begin to tell yourself oh my gosh it's happening so fast that's because god moves with speed so a lot of you don't know that you're even pregnant right now and some of you you know there is something that God has placed in the inside of you that he's birthing. You know there's something that is in, deep down in the inside of you. You can feel it and you feel uncomfortable. It's like it seems like things are not working out for you. It seems like you can't win. It seems like you can't see the lights at the end of the tunnel. But I want you to know that those discomfort are preparing for the burden of the things that God has placed in the inside of you. Though discomfort is because you are pregnant with something that God has put on the inside of you. Something big. Something big. For myself, I know that I'm pregnant with purpose and I'm not exactly where I should be, but um, God is guiding me and leading me and the things that I've been going through, the things that I've gone through and just the attacks and the trials and the tests is preparing me for something greater. It's preparing me for the work that God has called me on earth to do. So I need to press on towards the mark. I need to keep walking with God. I need to keep going from faith to faith. I need to keep dying to myself each day. I need to stay in the word of God. I need to stay in the presence of God. I need to stay in worship. I need to be sober minded and vigilant i need to continuously each day put on the armor of god because i know that the thing that god has put on the inside of me is great i know that the thing that god has put in the inside of me is going to bring him glory i know that the thing that god has put in the inside of me that's going to give birth that's going to be birth is going to be something that's going to make the kingdom of um, of darkness tremble and nervous so when you know your place in God, when you know the thing that he's placed on the inside of you, when you know your authority, when you know where God is taking, when you have confidence in God, when you know the favor that God has upon your life, no man can stand in the way of where God is taking you. So I just want to encourage you today, even though it may, it may not look like there's going to be light at the end of the tunnel, tunnel even though it doesn't look like, you know, there's going to be good things that's going to come. Even though it doesn't look like what God says it is, I need you to continuously trust him and know that you are about to give birth to something great. You're about to give birth to something amazing. So don't give up now in your discomfort. Don't give up now in the trials. Don't give up now in the testing. Don't give up now when your breakthrough is near when your breakthrough is here you are about to give birth to purpose you're about to give birth to that thing that god has placed in the inside of you so that's the word for today you are pregnant and you're about to give birth some of you are pregnant and you don't even know you're pregnant but i want to let you know that you are pregnant with something that god has placed in the inside of you and is getting ready to birth Amen. Even right now, I feel the presence of God. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for this word. I take this word uh, for myself, and I'm just so excited that, you know, God is taking to a place of, you know, land flowing with milk and honey to a promise land i know my own personal um word from god um from when i gave my life to christ he gave me a i didn't even know it was a scripture i tell this story all the time um i just gave my life to christ i got baptized um i started reading the bible but i didn't even know the specific word was a scripture i remember I, in the, in the middle of the night i heard a small still small voice it, the voice was so common i heard the voice say the good work i began in you i will finish it I heard it once and then uh, later on in the night, I heard it the second time and he said again, the good work that I began in you, I will finish it. I heard it twice in an audible voice. I didn't know it was a, you know, a scripture. And then when I woke up that morning, I was talking to my friend. I'm like, I heard a voice two times in my, while I was sleeping. I was in a deep sleep. I heard it very clearly. And that voice said, the good work that I began in you, I'll finish it. And then it just so happened for some reason, I'm like, I want to check the verse of the day. So I opened my Bible app and hold and behold, the verse of that day was Philippians 1 verses 6, which says the good work that I began in you, I will finish it until the day of Jesus Christ. I was blown away and that was God confirming it to me through his word the third time. I heard it twice and then he confirmed it in his word the, ter the third time. So when I'm going through something and when I'm going through the discomfort, when I'm going through the pain and the tears and I feel like there's no light at the end of the tunnel, I have to go back on God's word and I go back on God's promise and I said, you know, Belinda, 
Don't be afraid because the good work that he began in you, he will complete it until the day of Jesus Christ. God will never leave us, not forsake us. So whatever God has um, whatever promise that God has given you, I need you to stand on his word, stand on Christ, stand on his word, because he will always bring it to pass. So when you're going through something, take comfort in the word of God, take comfort in his promises for your life, because all God's promises are a yes and amen in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. So that's the word for today. Please take it to God. Don't let my words be the final and the final say take it to God and let, let God confirm it. Let God speak to you. And if this word is for you, then come into an agreement with it uh, after you've taken it to God. You know, the, um, test all spirits. You know, not everybody that gives you a prophetic word is from the Lord. Test the spirit. Test the spirit. By their fruits, you shall know them. You know, because it's scary out here these days. But yeah, this is the word for today. I hope it's blessed you. Congratulations on your pregnancy. Congratulations that you're about to give birth to great things. The purpose that's going to glorify and serve God. And yeah, if you like this video, uh, if this video has blessed you, please give it a thumbs up. Um, and please go ahead and follow me on my new Instagram. That's um, underscore um, Belinda Chosen. I believe it's underscore Belinda Chosen. It's on the description box of this video. But yeah, follow me on Instagram, underscore Belinda Chosen. And follow me on TikTok as well. It's the same um, name on TikTok. But I love you guys. If you're not subscribed, please subscribe. And if you don't have your notification bell on, please put that on so that you're notified every time I post a new video. And I just want to say thank you guys for praying for me because I will suffer with a fever. I was so sick. And there's a point where I couldn't breathe. And I said, God, is this, is this it? I felt like I was dying. And I realized it wasn't just, it wasn't, it was a, it was an attack on my body. And I had to like really pray. But thank you guys for praying for me. Thank you guys for, you know, just your love and support always. I love you guys. And I will see you guys again in my next video. Bye. I thank God for the best